G'day, Peanuts Scrappers. Menace here with another episode of Scrap Mechanic playing some more inside the peanut land. And look at my face. Oh, I think I think I got something wrong. Have a pipe straight through the head. Um, got a lot to do today. Got a lot to talk about. Um, nothing straight up really. Just uh, sorry I've been away for a few days. Uh, had a bit of a break. Just been super busy in my real life and lots going on. But we're back here. We're going to have a quick episode today as you know i usually say that and then like the videos end up to be like 20 minutes long so if you recall last time we made this uh this being the mega swing and i have painted it and got it decorated and we've got a little cage and i chose the uh it's a very i don't know childish color scheme like like when i say childish i mean like baby colors like a baby blue and a blade baby yellow i don't know why i chose those colors i thought they looked all right i think it looks all right if you got better color schemes i'm all eight years but um one of the guys if you remember um a while ago i did a video on a um on a creation a fan creation it was called the hurricane it was by mr cool robot 33 and he and i have got in touch and he has made a couple of rides, a few attributions to Peanutland 2.0. Now, this here, Mr. Cool Robot, I'm going to remove, all right, dude? Like, nothing against it, it just doesn't... It, I'm fussy. That's all it is. So, um, we're going to start off. We're going to remove this, and I promise I'll put your name, like, somewhere. Uh, if I could please remove... Thank you, Scrap Mechanic, for doing the things. Uh, I'm going to remove this, and I'll make a better sign, all right, dude? I promises, I promises with all my heart... That I'll make it better. Um, actually, this it's not a bad, like... I might call it, like, a little bit of, like, Robot Land or something like that. I don't know. Maybe we could we could call it Robot Land. Have a little robot picture in here. and Who knows? All right. So, I'll remove all this. And we'll make, we'll make a little entrance. We'll leave it here. But anyway. So, this is the same ride that we checked out in the previous video. And this one is called the Hurricane. And it's really super awesome. So, um, you got your seats down here. Oh, I'm getting stuck on this here. These are your, this is where your passengers go. Um, we do need to do some decorations. So, you press 1, and it'll start just moving super slow. I believe that they are, that's powered by those thrusters at the top. You can see there it's rotating on the centerpiece. And then you've got 2 and 3 are our buttons here. 2 gives us a bit of... Okay, so I think number that one there is a... There's one that's... Yeah, that red one. So we'll turn that off. Let's. I'll keep my eye on this because that should not be hooked up to that position. It's this guy here, I think, he's got it hooked up to two, and it should be hooked up to three. Like that. Let's see if that works. There we go. Now we're now we're cooking. So that's just to give it a bit of extra thrust around there. And then you've got three as well, which makes it go even higher. So you've seen, I've seen rides like this before in, um, in real life. You can get some really cool, like, movement out of this entire ride, which is super awesome. And it goes very fast. I really like this design. It's a really, really good design. So thank you, Mr. Cool Robot. Now, he's added another one. And that other one is called the Scrambler. He calls it the Scrambler. And I've seen rides like this before, too, um, which is pretty cool. So you've got a whole heap of booths here. And there, it's sort of like um, the Scorpion, if you remember from Peanut Land 1. So you've got all of these. There's like four separate arms. And then um, these, these little bits here, they'll rotate on this spot as well as rotating there. So... I guess I'll just jump in and show you. And all you have to do is just push one. And things just start going. We can actually jump on it. Can I grab a seat, please? Actually, I should be able to grab on there. Nope. There we go. So you can see the whole thing moves around. It actually works really well, dude. All off the one engine. So super lightweight. I believe that's all wood in here. But I think today we're just going to decorate this. We need to make like a bit of a floor bit of coloring and we're going to add a fence around the outside and a gate and stuff um, as well as maybe doing the same over there for the hurricane um, just want to get it a bit more pretty uh, as for the next ride I'm, I'm contemplating on what to do I'm really not sure 
nor do I know where I'm going to be putting it. Um, there's a few suggestions in the comments that people were like, oh, you should um, put in like little stalls and stuff. The issue with putting in like more and more buildings means that it's going to cause FPS issues. Right now, it is just great. I'm having no FPS lag at all. Seems to be that the uh, the devs have optimized this pretty good. So um, hats off to them, which is which is really great. So um, yeah, like, but as as it goes, like, I would love to have like pathways and little stalls and that sort of thing, you know, just like Planet Coaster. And to be honest, I wouldn't mind playing a bit of Planet Coaster once more. It's a good game. Um, like I said, I just don't really think it's a it's a good idea with with how um, scrap mechanic and all of the um, scrap mechanic things work with with lag and blocks and blah 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 so let's um let's start off we get these these fences here i think they make a really great decorative item for these rides so uh, i wonder if i am able to put these in at intervals that are first of all even and in line is probably a good idea okay so it's not quite um what what i might do is i will start off from center because I believe that's the center there. And can I chuck in another one? Oh, actually, that will work too. That works just fine. So we can put in some pillars. Um, how do I want to put... What sort of pillars do I want to put in, though? Do we want to go with, with these kind? No, that, that's a bit tall. Uh, what's this one? It's not tall enough. But I could put a block on top. What kind of block can we put on top? Something pretty. Do we have any purdy blocks? What's this? Maybe this will work as a decorative item. Like that. That was weird. It just glitched out. Something different? I don't see why not. Now, the, another thing I need to make sure is that we're not going to be hitting... Yep, yeah, okay. So, we do have to make this a lot wider. We can still use this technique. But I think we're going to have to bring out the floor quite a bit more. And the floor is made of concrete. A concrete block can go on my hopper. And we will have to just, just drag all this out here. There's going to be a bit of ground sticking through. But that's okay. Um, let's chuck these here. In the right way. Uh, we need to put more, more floor, Reginald. Don't know who Reginald is. We'll get, we'll get there in the end. All right, let's see if this, this is going to hit. I think we might be safe, guys. That's all right. Cool. So, how many blocks out was that? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just fine. And then we can pop these in here. Now, I sure hope that we can get... Yeah, okay. So, it's going to be... I'm going to have to figure out something. Either way, I'm going to extend this floor out. Then we're going to paint it the right colors. Um, and I'll see you in a second. I don't want to don't want to just sit here and talk. Talk crap the whole time. <laughs> All right, cool. So we're going to leave these two as entrances. That that works just fine. Um, all right, so I do want to still use this as the thing. Put them there. Uh, we can kind of maybe not get rid of that. Uh, I really don't want to delete that block because that would lose connection to all of that. I mean, we can always move the, the seat. We're going to make a cage around that one too. Um, this is going to be an entrance as well, so people can just walk in, and then I'll just put a couple more over here, and then we're good to go, and then I'll pick some colors. I'm not sure what colors I want to go with this one. Well, I guess we've already kind of got yellow and white, as well as red and blue theme going on here, thanks to Mystical Robot 35. Um, so, we'll paint the floor. That's not the paint tool. This one is the paint tool. Um, I kind of want to leave that yellow line where it is. And just extend this out a bit more and do, do a yellow and white line once more. So there's like sort of two yellow lines. And I'll explain in a second when I change color really quickly to the white. So we can just do this. 
just just like that and you know what I might even do as well is we might still use these barriers here like I've been using on the other rides to keep a sort of centralized theme going so I'll chuck these down as well come on there we go so it's got that still got that feel you know so we can do this all the way around and I'm going to paint that and then these and I think we might just even leave the episode there um, I hope that I yeah I'm probably gonna mess that up that's fine um, and I'll talk to you in a second all right that should do it we should at least test it though um, make sure that the entire thing doesn't just glitch out no nope, we're all good there is no it's all cleared there is good clearance on the entire thing <laughs> this ride is looking really good. I think what I'll do is in between this episode and next is work on just a bit of frames for the whirly bird thing here. What are we calling that? Scrambler. Uh, I want to say thank you so much to Mr. Cool Robot for building these in my world, dude. Thank you, dude. Like, really good job. These are top-notch rides that definitely deserve to be inside the land of peanuts. At least version 2 for sure. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching, guys. Um... Really appreciate it. Really appreciate the support you've been showing me. I am still open for suggestions for rides. Um, there's been a few in the comments. Some that are unachievable, which kind of sucks. But you got to do what you got to do. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Menace. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Make sure you check out the rest of my channel and hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. Thanks for watching.